In today's video, we are going to be looking at gravimetric analysis and we are going, le going to learn how to calculate the mass of an ion which is found in a precipitate. So in this first example, um, we have been asked to calculate how many grams of barium. So the formula for barium, which is the ion, is Ba2+. plus. Uh, are found in the barium compound. If a solution of this sample gave 0 0.1283 grams of the barium sulfate precipitate. So the first step that we always do is we write out the formula for both the ion we're investigating and the formula for the precipitate. And this is the most important step. And what we want to do is we want to see how many bariums are actually found in the barium sulfate. I can see from the formula that there's only one barium. So therefore, the ratio is going to be 1 to 1. We then want to calculate the number of moles because that's a mole ratio that we've worked out. And we're going to have to use the mass triangle because the barium sulfate is a precipitate. It's a solid which has been formed. We've been given a mass. So to calculate number of moles, we would do M over GFM. The mass of the precipitate that we've been given in the question if we'd use the numbers backwards, is 0 0.1283. And we want to divide that by the GFM. So to do that, I always work backwards. So I do 4 times 16 for the oxygen, plus 32.1 for the sulfur, plus 137.3 for the barium. And that means that the barium sulfate has a GFM of 233.4. So when I pop that into my calculator, 0 0.1283 divided by the GFM, that gives me a number of moles of 5.497 times 10 to the minus 4. And that's the actual number of moles that I've got. I pop this in here so that I can scale over. So I put 5.497 times 10 to the minus 4, and if I was to cross multiply, I would times by, times by 1 and divide by 1. So the same number of moles is going to be produced for the barium ion. The question doesn't ask me to work out the number of moles of my barium ion. It's asking me to work out how many grams of barium. So grams were, again, looking at mass. So we're wanting to use our mass triangle. So the formula for mass is equal to N times GFM. The number of moles we carry through, which was 5.497 times 10 to the minus 4, and times by the GFM of barium, which was 137.3. So I keep this in my calculator, times by 137.3, and that gives me a mass of 0 0.0754 grams. So here's the second example for us to have a go at. If you want to do it yourself, you can pause the video and when you're ready, you can press resume and we can go through this together. So what we always have to do is we always have to find out which ion we're trying to work out and we need the formula for the precipitate. So the question asked me to work out the mass of silver. So that's going to be the iron, which is found in the precipitate, which we can see the formula is given as Ag2CrO4. So remember, the formula is the most important step. What we have to do is we have to see how many of our silver ions are found in the precipitate. And what we can see there is that there are two silvers found in one of the formula for the precipitate. So as a result, this means that our ratio is actually a two to one ratio. Two of the silvers are found in one of the formula for the precipitate. We do the same steps, we're working backwards. So we're wanting to use the mass from the precipitate. So we're gonna to have to use our mass triangle to calculate the number of moles. N is equal to M over GFM. The mass we've been given in the text, that's the first number we get to when we read backwards, which is 
and we want to divide that by the GFM of silver nitrate. So silver, we've got 2 times 107.9 equals. Plus, we have got chromium. And chromium, when we use our data booklet, has a, a relative atomic mass of 52 plus 64 for our oxygens. And that would give me a GFM of 331.8. So I do 3.863 divided by answer. And that would give me the actual number of moles is 0 0.01164 dot, 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 dot. That's the actual number of moles of my precipitate, which I've got here. So same substance, same side, 0 0.01164 dot, 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 dot and I'm going to cross multiply. So the math for this is you would do two times what's in my calculator. So you cross multiply two times 0 0.01164 and then divide it by one. And that would give me the number of moles as 0 0.023285. Again, keeping it in your calculator. The question doesn't ask me to calculate the number of moles. It wants me to calculate the mass of silver. So again, I'm going to be using my mass triangle. And the formula for that would be M is equal to N times GFM. The number of moles we carry through as 0 0.023285 or whatever is still in my calculator. And it times it by the GFM. Now remember the GFM is equal to one mole of the substance. We've already scaled for two here. So we just times that by 107.9, which is the GFM of one silver, times 107.9. And that will come out as a mass of 2.512 grams. So here's the third example. The question this time asks us for the percentage by mass of chloride in the impure chloride solution. So we've got an extra step, but we're going to do the original steps. We're going to write the formula for the chloride ion, which is Cl minus. We need to find out what the precipitate is from the text, and they're giving us that as AgCl. What we have to do is we have to find out how many CLs are found in the formula. We can see that there's only one, so that means that the ratio is going to be one to one. We want to calculate the mass of, um, sorry, we want to use the mass of the precipitate to calculate the actual number of moles. So N is equal to M over GFM. The mass of precipitate that you were given in the text was 0 0.9805. We need to put that over the GFM. So we've got the formula, which means we can work out the GFM. Silver's 107.9 plus 35.5 for a chlorine atom. And that would give me a GFM of 143.4. And when I put that into my calculator, that gives me the number of moles is 6.8375 dot, 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 times 10 to the minus 3. That's the actual number of moles, same unit, uh, same, same, same substance, same side, sorry. So I pop that underneath to do with the silver chloride. So I've got 6.8375 dot, 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 times 10 to the minus 3. And I would cross multiply. So I would times it by 1, divide by 1, which means the same number of moles is going to come out. 6.8375 dot, 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 times 10 to the minus 3, as I'm keeping it in my calculator. Because it wants me to calculate the percentage mass, I still need to calculate the mass of that iron. So I'm going to use my mass triangle. So mass is equal to number of moles times GFM. The number of moles I would keep in my calculator. So I'm just going to draw a wee arrow. I'm going to be lazy. And I want to times it by the GFM of a chloride ion, which is 35.5. So times that by 35.5. And that gives me a mass of 0 0.2427 grams. Because it wants me to calculate the percentage by mass, we need to do percentage is equal to mass over sample. So where that chloride ion was originally found times by 100. 
So I would have my 0 0.2427 over my original sample, which was 0 0.7011 times by 100. So when I keep this into my calculator, in fact, I'll just do it to the round 0 0.2427 divided by 0 0.7011 and so times by 100. That gives me a final percentage as 34.617. And if I wanted to round that, so it's four significant figures, that would take me to 34.62%.